Hey guys, I'm Anna Dolosky with the American Council on Science and Health. Water is a big deal. Our bodies are made up of 60% of water, so it's important that we drink enough of it, and it's important that what we consume is clean and safe. What's not important are unusually high levels of alkaline or pH in our bottled water, and yet that's exactly what some companies are promoting. The normal level of pH in pure water is 7. Anything below is considered acidic. Anything above is alkaline. At both extreme ends, the solutions can be dangerous to humans. So why then are some brands boosting the pH levels in water to 8, 9, and even 10 or higher, claiming the increased levels of pH promote health, keep you better hydrated, and have the ability to fight cancer? The claims stem from a pseudoscience crowd that's pushing this idea that maintaining a high pH diet would kill cancer cells. Except there's zero evidence to back that up, and here's why. pH levels are tightly regulated by your body's organs, and if the formula is thrown off, your body simply responds by trying to balance it all out. This is why adding extra levels of alkaline to your diet won't have any effect on your system. In fact, by the time water makes it to your stomach, specialized cells will strip its pH levels down to a 2, so any benefit of having extra is gone forever. And you also won't get your money back. So you see, drinking that expensive bottle of water won't do anything else but keep you well hydrated, and we here at the council weren't even sure if the labels were telling the truth when it comes to pH levels, so we decided to find out. Lab coats and all, we took several brands to the test. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Nick Staropoli from the American Council of Science and Health, and I'm here at Whole Foods where I'm going to pick up some high pH water so that we can bring it back to the lab and test to see if these companies are telling us the truth about their alkaline water. So we're here in a science lab and we've got our pH meter. We bought three brands of water. We also have Poland Springs and the tap water from the American Council on Science and Health is tap. Pure Blue label says it contains a pH level of 8.5 to support your body's pH balance. Our results say pH level is 7.92, five times less alkaline than marketed. Next up, Iceland Spring. Label says a pH level of 8.88 to help your body restore natural balance. Our results say 7.64, more than 10 times less alkaline than marketed. Here's what we got on Essentia. It claims a pH level of 9.5 or more. We tested and found it's telling the truth with a pH level of 9.85. And just in case you weren't a walking encyclopedia, here are some chemical structures that have a pH level of 9.5 or more. Toothpaste, baking soda, ammonia, milk of magnesia, and bleach. We lastly tested the New York City tap water and found it contains a pH level of 6.5, which makes the water pure and safe for drinking, and it's free. Well, sort of. So the next time you're at the grocery store looking for that perfect bottle of hydration, choose wisely. The alkaline doused water bottle will keep you hydrated, no doubt, but it won't cure your cancer. To see more stories like this, like us on Facebook or visit our website, acsh.org. Don't forget, while you're there, you can also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For the American Council, I'm Anna Dolosky.